Welcome, everyone. In today's video, we're diving into an essential topic, freedom of speech and artistic expression in Australia. We'll explore how these freedoms are protected, especially in the context of political satire and parody, and why they are crucial for our democracy. Let's get started. Freedom of speech in Australia isn't protected by a single statutory act like the First Amendment in the United States. Instead, it's implied through the Australian Constitution, particularly concerning political communication. The High Court of Australia has recognized an implied freedom of political communication, allowing individuals to freely discuss political matters, including through satire and parody. Parody and satire are generally protected under the implied freedom of political communication. This protection extends to artistic expressions that critique or mock public figures, including prime ministers. Such expressions are essential to democratic discourse, enabling citizens to critique government actions and policies openly. Australia's defamation laws are stricter compared to some other countries. Public figures can sue for defamation if they believe their reputation has been unjustly harmed. However, truth and public interest are strong defenses against defamation claims. Satirical works often fall under the defense of fair comment or honest opinion provided they do not convey false statements as facts. Artists in Australia frequently engage in political satire through various media, including cartoons, digital art, and performances. While generally protected, these expressions can sometimes lead to legal disputes, particularly when public figures feel personally attacked. Courts typically balance the right to free expression with the need to protect individuals from unwarranted attacks. Currently, there are no specific laws enacted by Prime Minister Anthony Albanese that restrict the use of his face in satirical works. The implied freedom of political communication in Australia continues to protect the right to satire and parody public figures. If any new legislation were proposed that might limit this freedom, it would likely face substantial legal and public scrutiny. Freedom of speech is crucial for the functioning of a democratic society. It allows citizens to express their opinions critique government actions, and participate in public discourse. Any restriction on this freedom, particularly when it pertains to political satire and parody, can significantly undermine democratic principles. Political satire and parody are vital tools for holding public officials accountable. They allow the public to critique and scrutinize the actions and policies of politicians, reducing accountability and transparency. Satirical content often highlights political issues in a way that is accessible and engaging, increasing public awareness and encouraging civic participation. Legal restrictions on satire can lead to self-censorship, where artists, journalists, and ordinary citizens avoid discussing or mocking political figures for fear of legal repercussions. This diminishes the diversity of voices in public discourse and can stifle creative expression. Restrictions can inhibit the ability of artists and writers to explore new ideas and challenge societal norms. Open and critical discussions of political matters foster transparency. If the public perceives that critical voices are being silenced, trust in democratic institutions and processes can erode. Satirical content often engages people who might otherwise be indifferent to politics, making political discussions more entertaining and accessible thus increasing public engagement and participation in the democratic process. Freedom of expression is protected under various international human rights instruments, such as Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. Any undue restriction on this freedom could be seen as a violation of Australia's international obligations. Imposing restrictive measures on freedom of speech can damage Australia's international reputation and its standing as a defender of democratic principles. Any restriction on freedom of speech must be reasonable, necessary, and proportionate. Overly broad or vague restrictions are likely to be seen as disproportionate and unjustifiable. Restrictions should serve a legitimate aim, such as protecting national security, public order, or the rights of others, but should not be used to protect politicians from criticism. The Australian judicial system plays a critical role in reviewing laws and actions that restrict freedom of speech, ensuring they do not overstep and infringe on democratic rights. Courts help maintain a balance between protecting individual rights and ensuring robust public discourse. Any restrictions on these forms of expression must be carefully considered to ensure they do not undermine fundamental democratic rights. 
Thank you for watching today's video on the importance of freedom of speech and artistic expression in Australia. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest tech videos. Your support helps me bring more content to you. Stay safe and happy computing.